Let's talk about quality control down at CGC on this episode of One on One. Hey guys, Kevin the Comic Doctor coming to you with another edition of One on One. And on this episode, I want to talk a little bit about quality control down in Sarasota, down at CGC. I want to talk a little bit about quality control or perhaps many of you might feel lack thereof. Before I get there though, guys, hey, do me a favor. If you love comic books, you love talking about comic books and looking at comic book art, this is probably the place for you. Why not consider subscribing to the channel, liking the content, sharing the content. When I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm having, I'm having a huge giveaway. Take a look at the info section below for more info on that. Okay, so I want to talk about quality control down at CGC. We all know that CGC has gone crazy over the last year and a half. It is The company is growing exponentially. It was picked up by uh, Blackstone uh, the the investment firm they 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 bought into CGC as well too. Uh, CGC picked up um, or they've actually leased or purchased. I'm not sure if they leased or purchased. It. Perhaps somebody can can clear that up for me. They leased or purchased a new facility as well. So they are growing. The company is is doing very very well. Comics have been going nuts, and uh, CGC has uh, is trying to keep up with the demand. Now with that, you're hiring new staff. You're going to new uh, you know you're using you're using new facilities. What have you? Things are bound to go wrong from time to time. So, you know, as a, as a presser who sends in a CGC weekly, or every week and a half nowadays, can I can I really say that things have gone downhill? You know what? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Are problems occurring? Yes. Um, but they're the same problems that CGC always faced in the fact in the past. In fact, I think that CGC's working my working with CGC at the moment is actually pretty fantastic. Whenever I call, they answer the phone. When I have a question, they answer the question. If I've got an issue about accounting, they answer those issues about accounting. And I love it. They also don't they're not messing up my, my return shipments anymore either. They're, they're coming back properly. I, I'm quite happy about that. The one caveat <clears throat> is for me is I'm, I tend to see more books coming back with cracks on them, on the slab, that is. Now, is that CGC's fault? I don't, I don't think so. They, I'm sure they leave the, they, they leave the company's facility, <coughs> excuse me, in good order, but then they, for some reason, are getting damaged in transit. That's probably more of a, of a FedEx thing. Perhaps it's a packaging thing. Maybe they have to relook at how they package the books. I don't know. But that's the real main problem I am seeing with them at the moment. I'm seeing more cracked slabs than ever before but then again i'm getting a lot more books back than ever before so that i guess that kind of makes sense but i'll tell you guys i love cgc okay i love it there you go i'm saying it. i love the company it's a good company they do good work in terms of getting the books graded are they taking forever yes they are it sucks i get it we have to wait i know but the books are getting done uh they are coming back when I call, they answer the phone. When I got questions, they answer my questions. When I email them, I get a response, usually within 24 hours. The other day, I got a response back in less than an hour. You know, as someone who uses them exclusively, I'm quite happy with the company. And I know there are people out there who despise them. I see all the Facebook posts and all the, the haters and all that. And that's fine. You know, we're all allowed to use which, whatever company you want to use. I hang my hat with CGC. And I'm going to complain a bit about them today because um, there are things that are happening that I think you, the consumer who are sending books in, should be made aware of and should keep your eye out for so that you're not going to be on the hook. Uh, should something go wrong, okay? That's what this video is all about. Um, part of it's quality control, like the video thumbnail said, um, but the other part is, is um, I think it's just happenstance, guys. Again, I'll talk first about the cracks. Yes, cracks do occur. Take a look at some of these cracks I found online, all right? So here we have some cracks, crack slabs, damaged slabs. Yes, it does happen. I've seen books come to me where they've been totally... Um, totally smashed to, to smithereens and i've seen other ones where there's just, just little fine cracks like hairline cracks whatever once once the slab is cracked it's been compromised we don't want those so we can send them back so what happens cgc will pay to have the books returned to them they'll re-slab them and they'll return them to you on their dime so long as you get in touch with them within a reasonable amount of time and i think that reasonable amount of time is a week or two i'm not 100 percent um, so, so long as you get back to them within a good amount of time, 
That's fine. Now, if you're sending your books through a, through a third party like me or another presser or a local comic shop, they have to inspect the books. Now, sometimes, I'll be honest with you, I don't get to the books sometimes for a week or two. That's how busy I can get. Now, when that happens, I contact them and I finagle a little bit. And I usually get my way. But uh, I'm not sure what the relationship is between the person who's submitting your books and CGC. So it depends on their relationship. If, it, if they've gone beyond the you know two-week period or whatever period they, they have for, uh, for, for, I guess, submitting a claim, as it were, um, then, again, I'm not sure what's going to happen there, okay? So there's that. So, hey, look it, they're, t they're fixing the problem. What more do you want? They're not saying, you know, too bad, so sad. They're saying, send the book back on our dime. We're going to fix the slab and send it back to you on our dime. Okay, what's wrong with that? that? That to me is a good response. It's nothing more you can do. I mean, unless you live in Sarasota and go pick up the books yourself, you're at, you're at the mercy of USPS, UPS, FedEx, Canada Post, whoever, right? So good on them for fixing that problem. That's the first thing. Okay, again, I don't, that's happenstance. That's not, C, to me, that's not CGC's fault. In fact, I'm pretty impressed for even doing that because honestly, it's not their fault the books are getting cracked. I don't think it is. They're packing every box the exact same way, right? Next, um, there's a couple things though that are happening that I've seen, not too often, but I do see it that I think we should talk about. You know that when CGC puts the books inside of us, uh, enc encases them in that slab, there's an inner well. The comic book is put inside of like a, a mylar sleeve and then it's kind of sealed shut, right? Damage can occur to the comic book during that process. I've seen it happen, not very often, but I have seen it two or three times in the thousands of books that I have submitted. Actually, probably four times in my mind. I'm thinking of each time. Usually, a corner is bent over, like a corner of the comic you know, you get the, you'll, you'll notice that the, the corner's actually like been bent. Not not quite that much, but you'll see a corner has been f flipped over and then sealed and then has been pushed. It's awful when it happens. I saw it happen to a Walking Dead 1. I saw it happen to uh, a copy of my, I had an X-Men 101 in a 9.0 that had the, had the corner flipped over. I'm going to try to find that picture and add it to the, the samples I'm going to show you in a moment. But it sucks when that happens, guys. It does happen, though. So you have to inspect your books very carefully when the when they come back. And sometimes the damage, you don't even notice it. In fact, the 101 that I had that was my copy, it had happened to the back of the cover. And for some reason, I didn't notice it. And I put it in my shop and actually had a client who wanted to buy it. He picked the book up. He's looking it over. And he goes, oh, what the hell is this? And he, he pointed it out. At this point, it was like four months after uh, the damage had occurred. Um, anyways... I complained about it and they actually, they actually agreed to fix it. Other, other damage can occur, uh, you know, other than just like a folded cover ripples can happen and what have you. I'm going to try to find some pictures and post them in a moment. In fact, let me do that right now. Here are some pictures I've found online and some of my own pictures uh, of damage that can occur to comics when in the inner well, check out a few. Here we go. Okay, so there you go. You saw a few pictures of what could potentially happen. Check your books over. Now, listen, guys. Honestly, this is would be hard for a lot of people to do. I know I can't do it. I have, I'm sending out hundreds and hundreds of books to CGC. I can't take a picture of every single book, and I can't keep track of that. My gosh, that would take forever. I have to hire someone just to do to do that. But it's a good idea when you submit your books, especially high value books, take pictures of the book, very good pictures of the book. So if you get the book back and there's obviously some damage done, you can then, you have some proof that the book was this and then it came back like that. You know what I mean? So just a good rule of thumb, take pictures of your, especially high valued books before you send your books down to CGC, okay? Other things that you may see or be, you know, may find inside an encapsulated comic book. Check this one out right here. That's right. I don't know what who who's that belongs to, whose DNA that is, but that hair was found inside of a Hulk 181. That was Jason's book, actually. Yeah, he came to pick it up last week, and we were both distraught to discover it. I didn't see it right away. It was really bright out when I was heading the book, and then all of a sudden, I, I just noticed it. And I said, let's, let's send this back. This is not right. You shouldn't take this book 
like this. So I contacted CGC. I told them what happened. They responded within 45 minutes and sent me a mechanical error uh, uh, form. The book's already en route back to get re-slabbed. I'll probably have that book back within a month, less than a month probably. Anyways, it's really nice. They do take care of it. But there, you can find things inside the slab. Hairs. Gross. You know, pieces. Of, I've seen pieces of paper inside. Um, sometimes I've seen where the, uh, you know, they put micro chamber paper inside the comics as well. Sometimes that pops out. You can see it hanging outside the book. It's really unsightly. You know, all sorts of things can happen. So you want to inspect the entirety of the inside of the slab to make sure there's no foreign objects in there. And if there are, again, they will take the book back and fix it. So you know what? What more can you ask for, guys? What more can you ask for? They're fixing the problems. This is a company that's growing by leaps and bounds, hiring new staff. Again, new facilities. There's a, there's a learning curve going on there, guys. So problems are bound to happen, and they're probably bound to happen more. Um I think to have, I mean, I, this is costing them money. So I don't know why they wouldn't be more, I guess, stringent uh, with those people who are doing the encapsulation. I wonder if they're wearing like outfits like this, <laughs> right? When they're, uh, when they're uh, doing the encapsulation, they should at the very least be wearing hair nets and, or beard nets when they're working, if they have beards, because hairs do fall out, man. And that's just natural and they'll fall in your book and you'll get them back in the mail. Anyways, guys, just a few items to consider when you get your slabs back. And again, if you're doing it yourself, you're sending the books to CGC yourself, inspect the books when you get them back. If you're going through a th third party, like a presser like me, or through a local com comic book shop, hopefully they're getting to look, look through the books, uh, inspect the books uh, pretty quickly after the books are received. That way uh, they can take advantage of CGC's, uh, I guess you could say warranty, in a way, it's not really an official warranty, but they're taking care of us, guys. All right. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that little, uh, you know, that little look at uh, quality control at CGC. Hopefully, they'll start tightening the reins a little bit over there and making sure that their employees are, are, are you know, taking their jobs seriously enough to make sure that things like, you know, fallen hairs or, you know, bits of God knows what aren't falling inside the slab before they encapsulate it. All right, guys. Hey, listen, thanks so much for popping by. Hey, did you hear? When I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm having a draw, I'm having a giveaway. Take a look at the info section below for more information on that. All you need to do to, to actually be entered in that draw is subscribe to the channel and leave comments. Hey, speaking of which, have you received any books back from CGC that have been less than perfect? Let's say that. Tell me your story. Tell us your story in the information section below below and i also want to know did they take care of you were you able to have the book looked at or or, or could you have the did you have the slab fixed i'd love to hear your stories in the comment section below and by the way guys if you have any questions about the whole again uh submission process um questions about shipping or receiving or customs forms or all that stuff guys i am a pro at this now been doing it for several years. Uh, again, leave a, questions in the comment section below. Or if you'd rather, you can always email me at info at thecomicdoctor.com. Or you know what? You can send me a text as well. And my phone number is located at my website, thecomicdoctor.com. Well, that's it for me, guys. Until next time, you take care. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye for now.